Welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl and that. And it's your boy, Staten Lab. Have and have not, a woman under the stairs. I feel like I'm under the stairs. I'm so super tired tonight. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right off. The, I'll try to get my water intake what? in. What? You're so rude. What? They didn't come. They didn't come to our house to watch you drink water. You're so rude. And this trying one, to get my water intake in. I bet somebody else is trying to get the intake in while they But we can't video. see them. You just got them rude. No home training at all. So, um, yeah, we tired. And it won't much, but it was enough. You know what I mean? It's one of those yeah. ones where you be like, okay, I give it to you, Tyler. But from what I'm understanding, Tyler got other things he's working on. So is that why we... <clears throat> why we being it. cut short? So, Demonica comes up them stairs, the devil in the red dress. And she tells um, Justin Timberlake, hey, mm, so you married. <laughs> he was like, well, what you talking about? She said, honey, I was up underneath these steps I and I heard everything. So what is it that you need to tell me? He was like, I ain't got nothing to tell you. So she goes on with all these 21 questions and all of this. And he said, well, wait a minute. What are all these questions are about? <laughs> she said, you know, I've had cops like you on the stand before and I've eaten them up alive. She, on the stand? Mm. So mm -hmm. we'll get to that later. I said, oh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and mm -hmm. right into it. Yep. So she said, listen, hmm, does your wife know about your little perverted lifestyle that you've been living with my son? Your little unnatural um, affairs, your unnatural cravings for men? Does she know about that? I don't and know what you're talking about. He said, I'm not gay. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. And she said, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and continue. But she said, you know what? It's a god doing shame. That you down here sexually harassing my son. It's like, oh. While his future wife and unborn baby are down there fighting for their god darn <laughs> life. It don't make that no kind of sense. And he said, what crazy lady in the red dress, what are you talking, talking about? about? She said, oh, that's <laughs> what I'm going to tell the press, mm -hmm. your boss, and your wife. She said, because you know what? The social climate that we're in right now. It's perfect for this. Oh. Yeah. You know, we had Lizzie, you know, violated by a black man, I mean, a white man ran over. We had this, we had that. You got God doing um, R. Kelly over there pissing on people and holding them hostage in um, sex cults. <laughs> you know, he not white, but I just decided to throw that in there right now. And you got Donald Trump on TV acting an a hole. He's not um, white, he's orange. So, we got all this going on. I think what you just did, sexual harassing my son, fits the bill right now. Oh, yeah, this would be perfect. So he's sitting over there. He's like, listen, you don't know who you bucking with. She said, you don't know who you bucking with. I'm Veronica Harrington. And Say. she said, you know what? <laughs> and he said, you know what? My wife's a judge. And I said, why are you going to tell her that? Yeah. Why are you going to tell her that? Although we already knew she probably knew what she was going about to find out. Yeah. You just fed her more ammunition. Exactly. She said, oh, she is? And he said, yep. She's actually you on the case. Against you. That your son is a part of. So uh -huh. you really don't want to do this. She said, hmm, hmm. I know what I'm going to do. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to march my happy black A down there to that courthouse. I'm going to file a motion yeah. to get her removed off, off the of the case. case because her husband is sleeping with my son. It's like, boom. Ooh. How would you like that? I said, <laughs> well, freaking play. See the thing about it? <laughs> Justin sort of walked away a long time ago. Long time ago. When she started questioning what, was, what happened underneath the stairs before you came out the closet, you should have went on down the hall about your business before she got all up in your way. Now, now it's too late now, yeah. she got you now. And the bad thing about it is he don't check for all the cameras because you wanted to get some thing thing under the steps. Why you ain't pushing down the steps? Ain't no cameras down there. Yep. The same rules apply. Could have got away with it too. Boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> and that's all we needed. Devil dead. Game over. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, you tired. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you tired. <laughs> so we said Jim, Jim and Dave, Dick and David, come push it up that guy. David get home and come. David said, "I've been working out. And I've been, I've been practicing." Mm -hmm. So he said, "Listen, where's my son? Now this is Jim. Where is my son? I heard he was here, and cut to the guy doing chase." Jeffrey said, "Listen, 
No. He don't need to see you. You a trigger just like your wife is. Mm -hmm. Jim was like, listen here. That's my son. I'm going to see him when I want to. I ain't seen him in a long time. I'm going to go see him. Jeffrey said, no, the heck you ain't. You ain't. Mm -hmm. They had a breakthrough moment. And he said, you know what, Jeffrey? I'm, I I'm sorry <laughs> how I treated you back at the stove. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to and talk to you. Everything copacetic, no? Well, he was like, uh, Kanye, I didn't mean to talk to you so hard, man. You know, I, you know, I didn't mean it, man. What's your name again? <laughs> Good luck to you, you fat boy. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye, that cr 20, 21 shades of grace. <laughs> So he said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go in there and I'm going to talk to my son, you know, see my son. Later on, we saw that he did go in there. Anna did not want him to be in that room when Wyatt woke up because he was, she was like, listen. It took us forever to put him to sleep. And if he wake up and he hostile, yeah, this I'm man. charging double. Yeah. So he said, no, I promise you, I'm not going to wake him up. I just need some time with my son. And then he did this weird thing where he took his <laughs> handkerchief and yeah, he was like, wife. and I said, ain't. He ain't bleeding and he ain't sweating. What is going, like, what's going on? on? And then he took it and he started smelling it. And I said, well, maybe he's just trying to get his son's aroma. We're going to go with that because yeah, that's I, the only thing that made sense to me. And he was like, son, you're going to beat this. You're going to beat this. And I said, Jim over here having a real moment. But I was peeping that. I said, um, is Anna going to be your next victim, Jim? Because you know you like him young and naive uh -huh. looking. But I think he's so distraught now. He probably didn't even really pay attention to the next catch. Oh. They always pay attention. He just took it, put it from the front, and went around the back. Beep, beep. Store mm -hmm. right here. So when he realized his son is all right, that's gonna say. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Like, yeah, what's your and, name? Uh, is? And uh, and he got he, he said, got her card right. He and he said, "I'm gonna send you all my numbers." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she don't need but one down. Yeah, that's all she needs. All the numbers for people like Candace. Hmm. So I said, "Oh Lord, here we go." So then David finally gets the opportunity to question Jeffrey down and be like, "Hey, I said Jeffrey." <laughs> I heard that you had something to do with the murder of Quincy. <laughs> he said, yeah, Dad, I did, but he's a bad, bad man. Dad was like, I know this. I know. Mm -hmm. But um, what you do? So he went ahead and told him, he said, hey. But first he told him, he said, you know, I'm here really because Melissa tried to kill herself. He said, what the hell your mama did? did? Jeffrey said, everything. <laughs> she done done everything and what them really tipped her over the edge is that her daddy is dead. He said, huh? Really? He said, man, that's a shame. Me and me and your mama knew them going from back in the day. He said, they were good friends. Like, like, what? I said, but yet you didn't know her last name when you wanted to check on her last week? But y'all been good friends? Hold on, wait a minute now. So your good friend... I get I guess I guess he didn't put it all together, it, you know. It my might be voice. Yeah. It don't even matter. He's, he's still he been still messed up from touching the small of her back. It make it big hard. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm like, David, you ain't that guy no mm. old to be forgetting stuff like it's that. He's like Jeffrey, why you ain't call me? He said, Well mama found out first and I didn't wanna get you involved and all this and he looking at him like not getting me involved is still getting me involved. So yeah. no, what the hell? He said, tell me what happened. He said, Dad, I went over to the house, over Candace's house, and Quincy was fighting her. And he said, I picked up a vase, and he said, you know how I get, when I put stuff in my hand and it turned to sharp objects, mm -hmm. he said, I just turned and he said, cut them, cut, cut them up, cut them, <laughs> cut them. And he said, before I knew it, he was in a pool of blood. That was a god day. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't believe it. He said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix this. So Jeffrey was like, no, mama said in the morning when she goes to court, she's going to get the evidence of the body being thrown out of court as yeah. um, evidence because at the time that they resumed the body, that house actually belonged to the, to the bank. bank. He said, she might be, she able, might to be able to pull that off. He said, but then they're going to be looking for some witnesses. He said, son, don't even worry, don't about, even worry about it. I got it all taken care of. He said, go home. And, and wait for me. No, the part that got me was when uh <laughs> when uh when he when um he told him said Candace told him say not to tell nobody, don't call the police because it was a crime of passion. He said, crime of passion. This ain't no god doing car crime of passion. <laughs> god doing crime of passion. I said, go ahead. <laughs> David was like, it's a bull skin. It's bull. It don't crime of passion. <laughs> so, <sighs> so he said, go ahead and go home. Jeffrey said. You don't remember? Mama put me out that 
ain't got no goddamn home. Yeah. He's out. I can't keep up with what your yeah. mama doing. Just, 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 just go get, get, just go get a hotel. <laughs> Let's go get a room <laughs> and just wait for me. God, don't it too much going on. <laughs> so I said, okay, whatever. <laughs> so then we see Catherine. She's over there trying to help Hannah out because Hannah don't woke up the next morning. She don't slept so long that she don't woke up with a new hairstyle. Yep. I said, well, darn, that was some good sleep, but she said it was on the ass. Yeah, because Catherine said, did, did that, uh, did that, uh, 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 Freaking Percocet I gave you, did it work? And Molly and Percocet. <laughs> and she said, yeah, it was just like an hour. Um, Catherine said, listen, you're gonna have to put some food in your stomach. You know, when you're taking heavy drugs like that, mm -hmm. they're gonna eat you the lining up your stomach up. You so you need to eat. eat you some applesauce, mm -hmm. grilled cheese or something. <laughs> and she said, no, I don't have much of an appetite. She said, I need to get in touch with my son, Benny. We gotta start planning this here funeral. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how I'm gonna get through this. Catherine said, you know what? You was there for me every step of the way when it came to my daughter. So let me take care of this. She said, honey, I can't even buy the day going I, 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 I thought she was getting ready to go into that bullshit again. Nah, don't this do it. This time she said, bucket. Yeah, I received that blessing. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Huh. And they went ahead and she said, you know what? She said, I don't even know how I'm gonna get through this. And Catherine said, ain't nobody going to get you through this but God. She said, uh -huh. oh, God. She said, you know what, Hannah? Yeah. Don't do not do that right that now. She is don't do that. that God. And so she said, you know what? When y'all had the funeral for Amanda and we were playing the funeral, they were asking you pertinent questions like, what's her favorite color? What's her favorite mm -hmm. flower? She said, what does a five-year-old know about flowers? What it's does like a five-year-old know about colors? And she said, you just going to have to make that decision for him. So... They had a real live moment. I'm sitting here like, that stuff you really never you think, think of about. either. Yeah. It's like, dang. But even in that, you just think about people that, you know, come in your life that you never really get a chance to know. Whether it's a spouse or a friend. Because a whole lot of people that live together don't know each other. That's the truth. They just, they just hold enough space together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Paying half the bill. Make it like so when it come time, when it comes time for that right there, they don't know what to do. Their head is cut off. They don't know where to start because there was not a real relationship. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. Catherine said, look, yep, I'm going to get you through this. I'm going to help. I'm going to pay. We're going to do what it do. And Catherine, I mean, Hannah said, well, I need my phone. I need to go ahead and call my son. She gets on the phone calls, but Mitch answers the phone. Mitch said, hey, Benny busy right now. He went to go. He went to do something. Yeah. Got something from Veronica. He went to do something. But he ain't him. Because <laughs> I said, thank you, Mitch. Do not tell his her. mama. But he down there yeah, at the court. He down there at the FEMA jail. Yeah. So play that off. And I said, Hannah just gonna let that go like that, Daddy. She but anyway. all messed up now, so it don't yeah, it don't matter. And Catherine said, you know what, don't even worry about Benny. I'll, I'll take, take care, care of Benny. And I was I was like, do she know something? Because it was kind of like she was trying to deter her a little bit. Hmm. And I said, do she know something? Because you know everybody down at the FEMA jail know them and they cause people and they let them know yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, it could have been a thing like at this point she's trying to Repay what Hannah did for her, you know, mm -hmm. kind of that, uh, that's a word for, but I can't think of it tonight because I'm tired. Me too. Yeah, but, but anyway, over but there, you know what it is. over there at the um, hotel, Candace is there, and we got President Charles Obama in the adjoining room, right? So Candace hears his kids over there playing. She opens up the adjoining um, door that leads to his room. The kids, being kids, gonna open up the door and see her standing there and say, hey, who are you? you. You so pretty. pretty. You gonna vote for my dad? Cause my dad gonna be the next president of the United <laughs> States. So he went ahead and sent them there, gonna cute little kids off um to school. Kat, um, Candace said, "Come on over here, baby. Got some more of that brown look over here for you. Come on. Mm, got some brown look and some cooch and a <laughs> and a um a cherry black and mild. Oh no, a wine cherry um black and mild. Let's <laughs> get it in." He said, "You know what? I don't like people telling me what to do, but it's something about you." I yeah. had a press conference today, and all I could do was think about and, and taste, taste you. I was like, whoa. She said, well, in that case, go ahead. Say the okie doke is working on you. Drop them drawers and get in the bed. He said, well, can I ask you a question? How am I? She said, oh, everything is good down there. Good equipment, working just fine, but you're a little rusty. But I'll teach you, but I got to charge. <laughs> he said, please <laughs> teach me. I said, he... <laughs> Is a little too forgiving of what she did, and she even yeah. said it. She said, "You taking mm. this whole blackmail and recording you thing a little too light." He said, you acting like, like you just Joe Blow down the street. See, that was getting the hell out of me. And I'm just sister girl down the street, and we just hooking up just to get a piece. You ain't acting like you running for president. You, you just that. You know what? 
Like what you call it? Say Dave Rant, not Rant. Well, Ramsey. I came up with his first name now. Oh, Charles Ramsey. Dead giveaway. giveaway. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. So he told. He said, "Listen, I got something to tell you." She said, "What you got STD?" I said, "So you mean to tell me you don't did a black child? Is you raw dog and people out here in these streets too?" Then this is the wrong time to ask about it because you, you already, already did it. Yeah. I said, <laughs> "Oh Lord." So he talking about some, you know. Let's do what we got to do. So they did what they had to do, and she's in the bed just taking selfies, just. Like, like you don't and, have, and he letting her. He like, you know, he was like, you ain't supposed to be said, doing that. But he's still over there in the picture, though. I said, mm -hmm. I said something ain't right. Something, something ain't just right. ain't right. Like the song says, something just <laughs> ain't right. That keeps what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then, she continues on to her antics, and she was like, you know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Da 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 da. da. And he said, what is it that you want? And she said, a girl never tells. But you are running to be the president of the United States, huh? So she's hinting around that, hey, I'll get you when you be. And he said, you don't know me, do you? She said, well, I know you. You're nice, you're kind, you're too forgiving, you're too trusting. Mm -hmm. He said, mm -mm. you really you don't, don't know, know me, me, do you? And he turned, and his eyes got real dark looking. I said, oh, hell. So here you go. I said, any nigga that's in that ninja, let me not stay at work. That's gonna lay in a bed with a laster still in his hair with his curls popping <laughs> like that. They're crazy as hell. I said, um, he about to do something. He said, Vincent, I, I need, need you. you. So who the hell is Vincent? Who is Vincent? All we know is these guys don't ages come from every boom. go. Secret service coming out. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. They said, oh, we collected a computer from this desk. We seem to think that you are um you violated the Patriots Act. Um, and we think that you're connected to Syria and all this all kind of terrorism. All this jihad stuff and y'all <laughs> trading and whatever, whatever, whatever. You're under, you're under arrest. arrest. I said, said, what? Where did this come from? And he said, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> and she looked, he said, you not, I'm not the MF, you want to F with. You're say, under arrest. you under arrest. Like, I said, you playing. I think he was skidding her though. No, skid the living crap out I of I think him. he was. Cause I said so. I think he bull skipping her, but not bull skipping her. Yeah. But you know how some people will let you know they dangle a serious joke where they'll they'll do something serious. Like I'ma kill but, you. <laughs> but put in the form of a joke, so you know be like, you know what, this was funny, <laughs> but I ain't gonna do that no more. No. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy who I told you we used to go to club with. The whole time he fighting, he laughing and grinning at the same time. Go before he would get to fight, be like, man, you don't want to mess with me. Man, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Bah, 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 bah. And the whole time, he, like, what kind of psycho like, mess is like, this? are you punching and grinning at the same time? <laughs> I told you, I told you, the motherfucker hit me in my nose. I'm like, there's something wrong with this dude. That's right. You said now you got hit in the nose. He's there. <laughs> my nose. He's still laughing. Still laughing and fighting at the same time. <laughs> I was trying to tell you, he was fighting so hard at his club that everybody had to end up coming out the windows. Like they had to literally bust the windows out, come out the window, because we're on the way getting around him. Because he was tan, he was swinging. But anyway, then now we over there at the FEMA jail. They won't let Benny go, but he not under arrest. Then all of a sudden, they, it just turned really weird. Yeah. And a guy came in and told him, he said, look, you ain't really able to leave because we want to collect your DNA. DNA. He said, my like, DNA for what? No, nah, you, you ain't getting my DNA. I'm, I'm going. I'm out of here. They said, because we think that you're a threat to a future presidential candidate. It's like, what? What well, the like, hell is like, How did we go here? from, you first come down to the hospital to check on how he doing as far as his nephew dying. Then you put him in, say you wanted that DNA in connection with Quentin. Now you want a DNA in connection with a presidential candidate. That he ain't even met, has yeah, he? Yeah, he ain't even been around him. Not unless if that they I really did, did go in the computer and they see something. But that ain't even Candace's computer, like she said. Yeah, I don't so know. I, I'm, I'm, I, yeah, that part really. Tyler confused. fell asleep at the wheel on this one. I hope y'all. Somebody fell asleep at the wheel because I was confused. Down in our um, description bar, we have. Not everybody, but we try to get most people that review these shows. So if we didn't give you what you want, go down there, drop it down, drop the panties down low, <laughs> and go down there and just pick and choose what you want. You know, do like that, like the hard twist say. <laughs> Figure out who you want to watch. You know, finger bang, go on about your business straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Too late, too late. Drinking water. <laughs>